Hey, what's up guys? I hope you have an amazing day and having a great week. I'm Jose Daniel and welcome back to another video. If you want to learn more about filmmaking, photography, editing, this is the channel for you. So don't forget to subscribe, to hit the bell to get notified and you don't miss the upcoming videos. Today we are going to have a look how to organize your media in Premiere Pro. If you haven't watched my last video about the folder structure, you can go and check it out here on the top or in the description below. So now let's jump into Premiere Pro and see what we can do with the project panel and how can we organize the projects, the files into Premiere Pro to have a better workflow. So let's have a look here. We are in Premiere Pro right now. And if we are going to select the project panel, you can notice that for the blue lines around the square, and we have here different files. You can notice we have the files as the same folder structure for the last video, we have the sound effects, music, camera one, camera one for green part stock. We have camera two like GoPro. We have the signature and motion graphic. These two folders are assets that we are going to use for this project. And then you can notice here we have three sequence. You want to create a bin, a new folder. We are going to have different options. We can right click and then you can see in the menu, we have new bin. You can select here on the corner, we have new bin as well. The other option we have is to select those files. We are going to drag and put it here with the folder and we are going to create the folder and the file is going to move inside the folder straight away. But if you notice, you can see we have a mango color next to the sequence and it's different for the files. We can select this folder and holding shift, we select the last one. We then right click, come to label and we are going to choose uh, let's choose blue and now we will know the blue ones are going to be the sequence this is going to be helpful every time we are going to move the files into the timeline this is going to know which one is because you will have different calls for music sound effects the main sequence uh, the main footage you're going to have for b-rolls for motion graphics or any other file you're going to have in the timeline you can know quickly which media is because you are going to have different colors so if we open this camera one you can see right away we have too many files like 24 frames per second and we have here two files for 60 frames per second we want to make a difference between those files for slow motion for the normal speed and we can just select and we are going to label them, let's say brown. And every time we are going to use it in the timeline, we will quickly know that it's going to be a slow motion clip. You can come here to the preference and selecting labels, we can rename the colors and we can change the colors as well. If you can see, we have label colors. We have violet, iris, Caribbean. So we can say for the violet, let's say we have a main camera and then we want to use a different color let's say we are going to use red because we don't have any red here on the labels let's press ok and you can notice here in the label defaults we have a movie audio and video we have select some colors there but if you see here in the video we have main camera and that main camera is the label we already modified you can see is the red one we already created so then you press OK and we will be OK. The other way to see the project panel is just double click the folder and you can notice now we open in a different window. And you can see we have the thumbnails for the videos, the footage we uh, have in this project. You can notice we have different options to view it. We have the list view that we already watched. You have here all the information. And then we have the icon view. You can see the thumbnails. And if you notice here on the right corner, we have those blue squares. This one is for the link audio and the video audio. So this means those footage are using in the project into the timeline. And you can see the difference between the other one is great. So that means this footage is not using into the timeline. So if you scroll or you move the mouse on top of the thumbnail, you can notice the video is played as I move the mouse. If we click the footage, you can notice here on the bottom is a square, a black square. You can click and drag into the timeline and you can play the thumbnail as well. And the other option we have is to zoom in or zoom out. 
And if we see the free form, you can see the free form here. You can notice here now we have the colors labels and you can see we have different footage for different essence. So let's, what is the free form allow us to do? It's basically, you can see this footage for the forest. We want them together. So we can click and drag wherever we want here in this space and we can group these files. And you can see this footage here on the end. They are the same and we want to group them as well. So we can just group them. And this one, they are for the introduction, the same location. We want to create a group them. And then we have this one in a different place. We want to group them as well. So we group those files. And it's going, if you want to move after that, you can just click and drag and you select all of them. You can move it. You can do as well if you move the mouse on top of the clip, you can play the thumbnail. You can see right now, if I select this one, I can see here the square to play the thumbnail. And this is the way how you can organize your projects into Premiere Pro. If you want to know something else, if you have any question, just let me know in the comments. I created as well another video just talking about the preference settings for Premiere Pro. You can go and have a look here on the top or in the description below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and see you guys in the next video. Peace!